Hey everybody, Skylar here, and today I wanted to talk to you about two stories. So one is a story about a crypto millionaire that actually had to flee the United States, he had a 25-year sentence on him, and had to flee to Mexico while he got his legal th situation figured out. He, he ended up starting a uh, bond company that was um, crypto-friendly and ended up getting murdered um, down there. So we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about a little bit lighter story about somebody buying Mount Gox, actually. It's a pretty interesting story, and there's a lot of uh, famous names in crypto that uh, that have to do with that story too and it's just kind of interesting what's going on and even the purchase price was interesting and at any rate uh, we're going to talk about uh, Mountain Gox getting bought out and all that jazz as well so uh, so yeah let's get into it. Uh, the first one um, John Galto sorry John Galton he was wanted in the United States for some crimes uh, nothing too serious I can't remember what they were now but I remember when hearing them they weren't it wasn't like murder or anything. Um, it was like uh, maybe drug charges, marijuana possession, or, or uh, something. I can't remember what it was. But he was wanted for 25 years worth of charges, so I guess it was you know intense enough to where he wanted to flee. So he ended up fleeing to Mexico, and in Mexico, he ended up getting to know quite a few people and. He ended up starting up a bong business and a, and a glass business where his girlfriend blew glass and he was there for quite a while and he ended up getting murdered and from what people think happened, it, he stepped on too many people's toes down there and the drug cartel came in and murdered him. There was two witnesses there was his girlfriend as well as his friend his friend actually got shot three times and there's a video I'll, I'll link you to an article that has a video in it I'm not going to show the video though it's maybe too much but he but he shot while he's talking in this video and he seems pretty like coherent and so I don't know if it, how bad it was but <clears throat> at any rate pretty intense so they ended up coming in and apparently they went straight to him, shot him, <clears throat> he died, and in the process they shot, they shot this other guy, but after they shot John, then they ended up taking off and a lot of people think it was the uh, cartel or there was, he was stepping on, there was an event down there called, right here, uh, Anarchapoco, and uh, he was he was making his own version of that, and that may have been a part of it. I mean, who knows? There's still investigations going on, but kind of a pretty interesting story. And this article right here is the one where you show, where it shows those videos, which I'm not going to end up showing you, but she ended up writing on, uh, Lily ended up writing that she was going to release a statement, but she, she said that the news that was reported was wrong, but she said she'd have to wait to tell her story for whatever reason, probably want to talk to a lawyer or something. And then she then said, all I can say is be careful of everyone. Those who talk anarchy don't always live in accordance. This is because we trusted and helped the wrong aren't anarchist. Be vigilant on your toes and skeptical of all. So I'll link you to this as well, but kind of interesting and um and yeah this is a a video that kind of talks uh, kind of talks about them and them getting started I'll play a little bit of it We're here in Acapulco visiting our good friends Don and Lily of course the one and only Rebel Don all of them right across the border to Acapulco because they were facing a 25 year prison sentence all for making cannabis extracts for pain management and this is their story yeah, that's what it was. They're making cannabis. So, yeah, it was. That's crazy. Twenty five years. At any rate, interesting story. I'll link you to all these. You can check it out. And if you know if there's more information that comes out, I definitely will check it out and follow up with you and on my channel and all that jazz. So, uh, if if you want to know more, you know, like, subscribe, bell notification, and you'll get notified of all my videos. And if that specific one comes up you'll know so um 
I also wanted to talk to you about a story about Mount Gox, which I found kind of interesting. So Brock Pierce, which I actually didn't even know he was an investor in Mount Gox. Um, oh yeah, I did actually. Um, when I was doing research on EOS, I, I remember reading that. But he he also invested himself in EOS, and and that is a very strange dude. Not that that ma- means anything, and when it comes to his intentions or anything like that. But this this guy, look him up, Brock Pierce. He was in um, was it Mighty Ducks? He was in a show. I can't remember what it was, but he was a kind of childhood, you know, movie star or something. Uh, of that nature. So, at any rate, he apparently uh, owns 100% of Mount Gox, plans to relaunch it and pay back creditors, and he completely bought it from Mark, who uh, who was the person who owned it before. So, um, Rhett is someone I follow on, on Twitter. He's uh, um, been following for quite a while, actually, since Bitcoin Private, but at any rate... He he mentions here Bitcoin to the moon. I I, I don't know if, if that will take us to the moon. So, and, and the reason why is just, I don't know, it just seems odd and weird. And doesn't really make sense to me. So someone explained to me exactly the move. But first of all, he ended up uh, buying it for one Bitcoin. So he bought all of Mt. Gox for one Bitcoin because it's essentially worth less than zero. So you know, a Bitcoin, whatever, it says even right here, was effectively worth less than zero. So, he, and this is Brock Pierce right here, so he ended up buying it, but that being said, he, so the whole thing, I guess the big thing, why this whole thing is strange to me, he says he's going to buy it, uh, build it up again, and then pay back creditors, but what I don't, what doesn't make sense to me is when, when, when something get, has so much negative press around it, it's like, uh, w- would BitConnect come back and be like, hey, um, one of the, you know, people that lost money, <laughs> one of the people that was in BitConnect that lost money wants to make BitConnect come back and then wants to pay everybody back. Can you remember, Car- could you imagine like Carlos coming back and building up and being BitConnect 2.0 and saying he's paying everyone back. Not to say that he had any ill will intentions or anything like that or whatever, or that that's really the same, but it, it just seems weird. Why would you keep the name Mount Gox? Why, like, I just don't get it. So, at any rate, if that ends up happening, that would be awesome. There is a lawsuit that just recently got... Uh, filed with Coin Labs, increasing the lawsuit from uh, fifteen or sorry seventy five million to about sixteen billion. I'll link a video. Actually, I just did a video on that, so you can check that out. But just the whole, the whole thing just seems kind of weird and strange. Brock Pierce, he so as soon as there was a show on on uh, there was a late night show, and I can't remember what what, the, what it was, but there was a late night show that essentially just just made fun of EOS on the on the entire show and it was making fun of Brock Pierce right here the entire show so Brock Pierce the next day got let go from the project on EOS so I mean I'm sure he has a ton of money he bought this for a for one Bitcoin so you know he, he purchased it for 3500 bucks you know it's not like I, I don't know I just don't see this being a move that's going to change Bitcoin. It might, but uh, but I'm just kind of curious what the re- actual reasoning is behind this, what his intentions are, if he's just trying to get press for himself, trying to turn something around to... I, I don't know. I'm curious. But again, I'm going to follow the story. If you, you know, want to know what's going on with this, I, you know, I'll check back on this as soon as you know, more news happens and I'll post a new video on updates and let you know what's happening with Mt. Gox. And, uh, and yeah, so at any rate, I'd love to hear your comments below. <clears throat> if you could, you know, comment and, you know, tell me what you think about both stories. Tell me, you know, um, tell me if you think this Mount Gox thing is a good idea or not. Um, I'm really curious what you know. So, 
yeah, comment below and uh, and again, you know, like, subscribe, com um, bell notifications if you want to know my videos. I will be posting every single day stories, random things, random stories that I find interesting on the internet, and of course the big ones. Although it seems that lately there's just a lot of like really cool news going on, which makes me really excited and bullish on Bitcoin because. There's just a lot of really cool stuff going on. Although I've been reporting on like drama stuff, um, so I should probably report more on the, you know, Facebook, ac you know, acquiring type news or, you know, uh, Amazon possibly, you know. Although the, the, those are kind of um, FOMO news, but you know, I don't know, whatever. At any rate, I'll be posting every day. So appreciate everybody that watches and. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye.